Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of November 11th. This week, you start off with this Truth Be Told card and this Milk and Honey card. Uh, this Milk and Honey card is kind of like, uh, you know, just enjoying life and uh, things going well. So I love to see that. Uh, the I do feel like there is some sort of truth to be revealed. We even have the moon, which can be a card of secrets. I don't think this is like a bad secret or anything. I actually think that this is something that you're going to enjoy. So, um, you know, again, we'll, we're definitely going to look into that. Nothing's popping into my head as to like what this secret is or it you know, might not be a secret. It might just be, you know, your truth is being uh, revealed here or you are revealing your truth, uh, which when we are living in alignment, we, of course, are living in, in truth. So, you know, this could just be as simple as being in alignment. Uh, the Milk and Honey card is, like I said, it can be like, um, you know, it's kind of like one of those cards. It can be good or bad. And I do feel uh, not really bad. It basically just says, uh, don't get high on your own supply. You know, it says, you know, he this elephant in this card is enjoying life but you know it says make sure that you're not getting distracted with other things but you know again overall just in general i feel pretty good about this so i wouldn't worry too much about it uh you start with the two of pentacles the hermit the moon and the hangman so the hermit has put himself in hermit mode and now he needs to get out of hermit mode and this could say that you have been in hermit mode for a while and now it's time to kind of reveal your inner light and again the hermit is definitely a card of kind of revealing the truth kind of because he has the star inside of his lantern and he needs to blast that light all over the place because again he's been through something difficult and he has earned his right to kind of like show off right and he's not really showing off he's just blasting his inner light uh, you have the two of pentacles two of pentacles is balance of course it's work hard play hard so if you're working hard i would make sure you're playing hard if you're playing hard i would make sure you're working hard and uh yeah i would just stick to that uh you have the moon it's i have the word fantasy popping into my head here leo so it's like some of you might have some sort of fantasy <laughs> or Mm, you know, might be like a dream that you are trying to manifest here on Earth. Uh, you have the Two of Cups right next to it, so it could be like a love fantasy. It could be, um, you know, a fantasy that your higher self is guiding you towards as well if you don't want love, because the Two of Cups can just be you communicating with your higher self, and we'll talk about that in the next row. But, you know, again, the moon is kind of like secrecy, imagination, uh, fears and you know again I kind of feel like all of that <laughs> uh, around whatever it is you're dreaming of it's like you have all these feelings about something and you know I think it's time to like move more towards your truth I also feel that you pretty much know everything that you're going to know about this situation the hangman has put himself in hangman mode to gain enlightenment he's hanging from the tree of knowledge and wisdom and you know the hangman's next step is to set himself free to get off this tree and start moving towards whatever it is that he's imagining um, but you know again he there's you know sometimes I feel with the hangman that the person I'm reading for, you, uh, could be kind of stuck in hangman mode. And it can say that, you know, really, there's nothing more that you're going to learn from your current perspective. And so the next step is just to move forward. And that's really what I feel uh, with this hangman energy is that your next step is to make a move or to uh, work towards whatever this dream is. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles and whatever this other card was, the Hermit, uh, you have the Page of Swords. Uh, Page of Swords is a card of curiosity and also another card of secrets, kind of, because he is kind of the spy in the tarot. And so you could be, like, I don't think you're really, like, spying on something, although you could be, but, you know, I think that you're just examining something that you, like a dream that you have with that moon card. You know, the moon can absolutely represent a dream. I think the moon in the tarot gets a bad rap as well. Uh, it's really not a bad card because nowhere on the moon does it say stop. It can represent an uncomfortable time for sure, um, but it's like not a bad thing. And, you know, I think that you're looking at something that is a dream. Uh, with the moon, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune says pick a direction. You know, the wheel can spin forwards, it can spin backwards, uh, but at a certain point, you have to move forward on the moon card. You know, the moon is part of the fool's journey, and there is a path straight down to those mountains, but you can go forwards or backwards. And, you know, this pool of water kind of says do not get stuck in emotions, which is just like imagining and feeling how something is going to go. Uh, at a certain point, you have to take action and kind of uh, create the change that you want to create with this wheel of fortune uh, with the hangman you have the three of cups yep yeah, three of cups is a celebration or happiness or celebrating something so you know again if you're about you know i kind of feel you you could accomplish something right now 
whatever it is, doesn't matter. And the three cups says you will be celebrating if you kind of get off the tree with the hangman and you start working towards uh, whatever it is that you're trying to create in your life or whatever you're trying to manifest. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this fox spirit says think on your feet. You have this beaver spirit says lay a solid foundation. Uh, yeah, we're in a, uh, it, it seems to me like we are in a foundational time. I've just noticed over the past few months, um, pretty much everyone gets foundational cards in their reading. Foundational cards are cards like Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles comes up like crazy in the readings, and it's a very good card. But again, Ten of Pentacles is something that we work on forever. And also, just because you get the Ten of Pentacles in a reading doesn't mean you're going to get your Ten of Pentacles. It's something where you have to lay a solid foundation and then build upon it to get the Ten of Pentacles. And, you know, again, I, 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 feel, I feel a lot of this energy for pretty much everyone. Uh, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. Three of Pentacles says teamwork makes the dream work. So whatever you do, I would make sure that you're working on a team. I, also, I do feel like a lot of you are building something. Again, we were just talking about foundational energy and having a solid foundation and building upon it. Um, three of Pentacles is building something of quality. Like he has done a good job building these three Pentacles, and now he needs, you know, he needs to kind of like show off like the hermit. And so maybe you have done a good job building something, and now it's time to kind of like display it or put it on display. This could even be yourself. Like if you've been working on yourself or if you've been improving yourself, this could say it's time to like put yourself on display or it's time to, um, you know, be the star, right, with that hermit. Uh, you have the Two of Cups. Uh, two of Cups, of course, could be love. So um, not, you know, it's kind of a love reading. There's a little bit of love here, but you know, I think love is always available to us. You just have to go get it. And two of cups could be like a perfect match coming in for you. Uh, two of cups is usually someone who's like different than your usual type. So usually there's some sort of something different that you wouldn't normally go for, or, you know, maybe you would, you just, maybe you just never have before. And it could be a different type of person. I think more importantly than that in this reading is that the two of cups can represent uh, you and your higher self, and it can represent communicating with your higher self. So I think it would be an amazing time uh, for you to kind of tap in and to, you know, meditate or, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is that you do to get messages, I would do those things uh, with the Two of Cups. And, you know, Two of Cups is all about communication. This is the Staff of Hermes, which is Mercury, and Mercury is communication, and I would definitely communicate at this time. Uh, you have the Nine of Swords. I think you need to get out of your head. <laughs> the Nine of Swords is kind of like expecting the worst. And some of you, I think I said this in your last reading that some of you could be, or it might have been someone else. I don't really remember if I'm being honest, but you know, I said it to someone, but I think it was you, that you could be expecting the worst of a situation. And the Nine of Swords is having a nightmare, waking up and being stuck in a nightmare, but he could easily make a change. He could, he needs to get up out of that bed and stop suffering, right? So I think for a lot of you that you're thinking that something isn't going to go your way, but really it is. So whatever your dream is with that star or whatever your fantasy is or whatever you're wishing for, I feel like you need to go for it because it, you know, again, the, the reading looks good. We go up to the Page of Cups, we go over to the Ace of Wands here, you know, these are both positive outcomes. And the Page of Cups even represents your dream. You know, he has that fish in that cup, and that fish could be something he is imagining, something that he is fantasizing about or dreaming about. So, you know, again, it looks much better than you are thinking. Uh, with the Three of Pentacles, you have the King of Wands. Uh, even though this is Aries, we could just say it's you, Leo. Um, you know, the King of Wands could just be general fire energy. And I do kind of feel with that Three of Pentacles, you know, this guy is standing up on this bench. He's, he's kind of being put on the pedestal. He's getting the recognition for the work that he's done. And the King of Wands is about being confident, bold, assertive, and really standing out. And I think this whole entire reading is saying that you need to stand out at this time, or you need to make sure that you stand out. Uh, with the Two of Cups, you have the Ten of Wands. Um, Ten of Wands is about carrying a heavy burden. He, he, you know, he's at the end of this long journey, and he's about to reach his home in the background here. And he planted those wands, so he's done a lot of work on himself, and he has, like, earned something. And I, I feel like you need to realize that uh, with this reading. You know, especially, you know, this could be anything. You know, what is popping into my head for love is that maybe some of you have been single for a long time, and so you could be nervous about, ex like, accepting love into your life. And I feel like the Ten of Wands is saying, you've worked on yourself during this time, so it's like you've earned uh, something that could be really good. Uh, with the Nine of Swords, you have the Six of Pentacles. Yes, you just have to plant that first seed, right? 
um, which is probably you know the easiest solution with the nine of swords is to just like try something a little bit <laughs> and see where it goes and see if it grows and then keep moving forward you know he really takes those tiny steps this guy in the middle he's only investing a little bit into this person and he's seeing where where it's gonna go right and if it grows then he keeps um, putting energy into it if it doesn't grow then he stops putting energy into the things that don't grow right uh, next in the area of messages from your future self, you have this passion card and this patience card. I feel like the King of Wands is very passionate. You also you also have the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Wands is also very passionate. So I think you need to kind of invest more energy into the things that you're passionate about. And you know, I, I think you have been patient for a very long time, and it's almost like your patience is about to pay off. Uh, you have the Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles is a card of resourcefulness, and I think we are in a time of resourcefulness. We have to be resourceful. I've been saying since 2016 that in, with money, for example, that money will be, I mark my words, there will be some sort of major financial change at the end of 2025, like beginning of 2026, somewhere around there. And so I think we have to be resourceful. We have to tap into our resources. Um, and you know, if we can do things without money, then we probably should. If we can do things for cheaper, like in work or business, we probably should. And that's what I would do with the uh, Queen of Pentacles energy. Uh, you have the two of wands. Uh, two of wands is kind of like saying you have to take a leap of faith, I feel. You know, he is a card of taking the lead. And so some of you might have to take the lead uh, in working towards your dream. You know, I kind of get the feeling that uh, with that truth be told card, it's like there's this, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, I feel like this card here is connected to the two of wands. And there's this mask right here. But I kind of feel like, you know, you know, it's like sometimes people just can't see our vision. You know, they don't understand what we are creating or what we're planning on creating in life. And the only way we can get them to see it is to do it. And so, you know, if you, I get this feeling of you sharing your ideas with people and they just don't understand it, uh, but it's because it's your idea. <laughs> and, you know, I feel like you need to, with the two of wands, like take the lead on your plans or your ideas and put them into practice. Uh, you have the Queen of Cups. Uh, Queen of Cups is about following your heart. And uh, you, all, all you fixed signs get these cards of really needing to make sure that you're following your heart and uh, listening to what your heart is telling you to do. And that's exactly what I would do with this uh, Queen of Wands energy is I would listen to your heart or your inner voice or whatever you want to call it. And I would really pay attention to that energy so that you can you know, be more successful in life. Uh, I would also pay attention to your intuition with the Queen of Cups. She is very like tapped in, you know, very intuitive. And if and I I have a million Leos in my life, and they are all very intuitive, but none of them use it. <laughs> and so I would like pay attention to your intuition. I would pay attention uh, to that inner voice, and you know, I would really like listen to those things that uh, your inner voice is saying to you, because you know, again, those those messages are probably guiding you towards something better. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Two of Pentacles. I feel like you're going back and forth on something, like can I or can't I do something, That's, which is not really what the Two of Pentacles represents. But, you know, intuitively, I feel like some of you are kind of saying to yourself, like, can I do this or can I do that? Or, you know, am I going to be able to pull this or that off? And I feel like the answer is yes, number one. But number two, I feel like you have to start putting the work in to make something happen in your life with this Two of Pentacles. And, you know, the Two of Pentacles is about kind of balance and balancing things out. This could also say that you're very busy. And we have the Ten of Wands here. And so the with the Two of Pentacles, sometimes I think we're we're basically spinning plates. We're, you know, we're doing too much. And we need to focus in on what's important. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles says you have to focus put more energy into the things that are working instead of doing too much. Uh, with the Two of Wands, you have the Queen of Wands. Yes, like if you have love coming in, I feel this could be a very, I mean, look at this, King of Wands, Queen of Wands to that Two of Wands. I feel it's going to be a very passionate, uh, fiery connection. It could be another fire sign. doesn't have to be. could be any sign. Uh, but I do feel this could be like a very passionate connection that you're developing. The Queen of Wands is also about kind of being bold and assertive, but she needs to follow her inner voice. And she has that sunflower, and that sunflower is pointing towards the sun. So kind of like the Queen of Cups, but a little bit different because the sun is like our inspirations, and you have the Ace of Wands here. So I definitely feel going this way, you have to also not just listen to your heart, but you're also probably feeling inspired uh, to make a change or do something different. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, you have the Nine of Swords yet again. So I think you have to get out of your head right here. I, I get 
get more of like this overthinking energy where, you know, the nine of swords can represent agonizing over a decision. It's like you're just thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking about a decision or doing something. And it would probably set you free to just pick one path and, and go down that path and make that decision, right? So sometimes I think, you know, really, I, I really don't think we ever make the wrong decision. I think it's impossible to make the wrong decision in life because when you make the decision, you made the decision. How could it be the wrong decision? That is the choice that you made. So again, I would just like make a decision here and make something happen. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this card. It says, it is never truly the end. It says, beloved, in this, everything will be okay. You have this, it is okay to be misunderstood. Uh, we talked about this with the truth card and the two of wands for sure. It says, perception is not always based on truth. Cannot make that up. <laughs> so I think a lot of you have some sort of inner truth that needs to be told, like that card says, but again, people might not understand it until you, you know, produce a result and that's perfectly fine. And it's coming up in the good stuff. Uh, you have the Page of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Ace of Wands. The Page of Cups can be like a new love offer, uh, you know, or an admirer. I definitely feel there could be a little bit of love here. So if you want it, it exists. And the Page of Cups could be like a very dreamy person that you're attracting into your life. Uh, again, he has this fish in the cup, and the fish represents something that he is imagining. And you start with that moon card and the Wheel of Fortune, which is literally saying like a dream could change your fortunes or your life by working on it, by bringing it down to earth. And that is definitely what I would encourage you to do, Leo, is kind of take your dreams or a dr you know a dream that you're having and, and bring it into this reality, uh, plain and simple. Uh, you have the judgment card. Uh, the judgment card is about waking up to your purpose. It's also about leaving your old life behind. These people are rising up out of these coffins. The coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin is their new life. And I feel a lot of you are kind of entering into a new life or... Um, you're being called to something greater. You know, I always think that the judgment card is calling us up to, you know, do uh, to move beyond our limitations. And, you know, I really feel that's what this is talking about because I think Leos have had a lot of limitations over the last, uh, like, 10 years at least, <laughs> right? Uh, probably really since, like, 2008. And now those limitations are being removed. But um, you have to actually move past those limitations. I think the problem with limitations when we experience limitations for too long is that it's like, you know, I call it spiritual Stockholm syndrome, where it's like you become attached to those limitations. And I feel this is saying that you have to release those limitations and become successful. And I think the easiest way to do this is Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is out with the old and with the new. You know, this castle back here is meant to look like it's crumbling. And the Ace of Wands is that spark of hope or that spark of inspiration. And we have the Queen of Wands. And so the Queen of Wands, like I said, moves towards her inspirations. And that's exactly what I would do with this Ace of Wands. You know, one other thing that I want to say is that we have three queens here. Uh, three queens can be jealousy and gossip. And the only reason I'm mentioning this is because we have Mars going retrograde in your sign at the end of the year. Mars retrograde can definitely bring out the jealousy and the gossip and things like that. And again, the simple solution with Mars retrograde is to completely ignore it. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, with the Page of Cups, you have the Two of Swords, again, trying to make a decision. Uh, but I think things, I, I'm pretty sure I said this to you recently, things are not going to go how you think. And I'm not trying to be mysterious here, but you know, I, she thinks that she only has like, there are only two ways that something can go, but really things are going to turn out like over here uh, on this island that's behind her. So, uh, and it's coming up in the good stuff. So this would say something is going to be better than you expect. And, you know, this could be love. It's like, maybe you have your eye on a person or maybe you're hoping to, you know, be in a connection with some someone or you're hoping to move towards your dream. And if you would just get started, I think things would go better than you think. Uh, with the Judgment card, you have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is like wish fulfillment or just fulfillment in general. So a lot of you could be finding fulfillment or you could be getting into alignment. Didn't I say something about that? I'm pretty sure I did <laughs> at the beginning of the reading. I said something about uh, being in alignment. And you know the trick with the Nine of Cups is to get something we wish for, we just have to be in alignment. And I think you are in alignment. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, you have the Judgment card again. So, you know, Judgment is all about uh, answering the call. And I feel like you are being called to something greater or you're being called to something, you know, better in your life, basically. 
Uh, you have this broken ring card that says parting of the ways either in romance or business. I, I think there are major changes in work for Leo, but you, um, you know, the, the trick for Leo is to do it, right? <laughs> is to, you know, I think that there are certain things that are intolerable in work with the Nine of Swords twice coming up here. And I think the trick for you is that you already know what your next step should be. And I think that you already see that there are better things that you could be doing for work or business. And, you know, I think your trick is to do it. Uh, just that simple. Uh, you have this rose card that says romance is in the air. Yes, I think it's a good time for love, even with all the retrogrades. We're at, you know, very a lot of retrogrades at the end of the year. But I always say I think it's a good idea to date a person during retrogrades. What's meant for you will not pass you by. If you meet a person during retrograde, go on a date. Um, and uh, the reason I think it's better is because if you're going to make a mistake or if they're going to make a, a mistake, it's going to happen during the retrograde. So it's like you can get through something instead of like wasting a year of your life on a person, you can end it in like a month, right? <laughs> Which I, I think is much, much better than spending a long ass time with a person and losing a bunch of time, right? Uh, you have this crown card that says honor and respect will come to you. All your readings this year of 2024 have been about reclaiming your crown. I can't even title your readings reclaiming your crown anymore because I've used it too much. So what I would say here is reclaim your crown. I'm going to say it again because that's what all your re readings are about. You have this older man card that says dealings or relationships with an older man. You have, I always clarify these people cards and you have this mountain road card that says you're on the road to success. So a lot of you could just be gaining uh, success through maturity, but I also feel like you could be like meeting an older person. It doesn't have to be a man, you know, whatever you're into, and this could be a very successful connection. Uh, you can't make this up. I saw this and I chuckled to myself because it says, well, great worry over nothing. <laughs> I think there's a lot of worry or a little bit of worry at least going on here, and I think you're worrying about nothing here, Leo, but this is a really good reading. I like where it's going, so thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month or week.